think there's only one left. Well, there goes that guy. Took all my machine gun bullets, but I do think I did it. So I guess there weren't that many, it just looked like there was a lot. Still though, they do love throwing these hunters at you. Because like I said, since they introduced the... The inline guard, since they introduced the strider, none of those enemies have been around as much as the hunters were. The hunter is the single mo the single most fought enemy in this game, I would say. Let me get out of your way. Not including, of course, the standard foot soldiers. And once again, I guess the game feels... Feels like it's... Look, I mean, look at all this health. Holy crap. I guess the game expected it to use a whole... Holy... I guess the game really did expect you to lose a lot of health in this fight, considering how many... Health things they, they have here. Jeez. Wow. I bet there's probably not even going to be any combine here either. It's going to be all hunters. Looks like he'll stop following me there. I guess he does stop following you. Well, I was wrong about there not being any combine. Not that these dumbasses pose, pose any sort of threat whatsoever. And it is critical that you shut your mouth and let me do my my thing. Apparently they did absolutely nothing. Oh, I guess they did kill one guy. Oh god! Wow, holy crap! That would've been... That would, it's a good thing I have these plasma balls because that would've been... That would have just been nasty, facing off a hunter at this close range. Of 
course, I only have one left, so if I have to face another one at this distance. Time to go for another swim! Repeat, shut your mouth and stop telling me what to do. I don't take orders from assholes. Hear a chopper somewhere. Who? That would explain why I hear a chopper, because it's a, a dropship. A dropship that's going to continuously spawn enemies, isn't it? I swear to God, the next time I see him, I will shoot a rocket into his prissy little face. Seriously? I swear to God, Gordon Freeman ladders. I don't think there's been a single time in this game, er, in this series, that Gordon Freeman did not get stuck on a stupid ladder. This game has been pretty generous with its health drops. That that thing's freaking out. Hey, dickhead! Why don't you come down here and do it yourself, huh? Instead of screaming at other people to do it when they actually are doing it. Well, you think it's just as easy as going in and pressing a button when I gotta fight through like a, a billion enemies to do it? Yeah, I don't see you doing anything.
You, sir, get the hell out of my room. Oh, uh, there are guys. I swear to God, I am going to shoot that asshole in the face the next time I see him. I really will. Of course you couldn't. Dad? Yes, Alex. Is everything okay? Is Gordon all right? Yes, he's fine. And thanks to him, the base is secure. Good, good. We're about to watch the transmission from Kids. We'll head right over. The Freeman must follow. You know, with all the work that I do, I think you should follow me. If you would take the Freeman from here, I can return to my place of honor at the side of the Magnuson. Sure thing. Thanks for the help. Dr. Kleiner told me that Judy headed north in a helicopter right after they got here. But he wouldn't tell me why. Dad, are 
Jackass. So, the Borealis. Interesting. If you guys have played Portal 2, and you had you entered that, I believe it was in the the toward the end of the. It was like it was in Chapter 7, right toward the end of that when you're escaping out of the underground, the old underground testing chambers if you go to if you go up to the the offices where you find potatoes and there's a hidden door behind like some bookcase or something like that if you go through that door there's a whole bunch of rooms there and in one of the rooms there is an empty dry dock and if I remember correctly potatoes actually comments about uh, something about a a missing ship that's supposed to be in that dry dock. Interesting that the Borealis would be that ship. And also, this is the first time that actually Half Life actually makes mention of Portal. Because if you again, if you play Portal, you know that Aperture Science is the the laboratory that you do testing in in that game, in both those games. But, uh, yeah, I think it's an interesting discovery. I'm not sure, well, I guess, yeah, because Portal 2 came out obviously after this game, so they already knew that they were going to do that. But, it's an interesting, I wonder if we actually get to see the whole, the actual ship. Consider, well, considering that Elon wants to destroy it, I would imagine so. So anyway, this is a good place to call it an, an episode. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And I shall catch you all next time when I murder this... Jagoff that's standing right there. Next time, you'll probably won't be seeing him. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this and I shall catch you all next time. See ya.